Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Yeah, welcome to the Glaze Entertainment here. I'll give you hot gist of trending issues in Nigeria, Africa, and the world at large. Please, if you are new now, please do it with the subscribe button, the bell, and also the like so as to stay updated with the times. We all remember what happened a few days ago in Oba, Anambra State, during the burial ceremony of Obi Kubana's late mother. It was late. People were spraying money. People were spraying money. It became the talk of the time. The internet, all the social media platforms were just engulfed on what was happening in Oba. And uh, mind you, that was the day Whiskey celebrated his birthday, but people even forgot about Whiskey, who is one of the hottest musicians in Nigeria and Africa and the world over, yes. Well, let's talk about Obi Kubana. People are now saying Obi Kubana should become the next president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria because Obi Kubana is a cheerful giver. And from what we saw, he has been helping his friends, his colleagues, Baby. and also his mates. He, he has been lifting them up from poverty. And after the burial, Obi Kobana also promised to give 300 youths 1 million naira each. In other words, he has promised to disburse 300 million naira to help enable the youths, I mean, to lift them up from poverty, to lift them up from where they are right now, to help to empower them. And because of that, people now are saying they want Obi Kobana to become the next president of our beloved country, Nigeria. We shouldn't forget the decision of the Saudi governors forum. They had this meeting and they came to a conclusion that the next president of this country should come from the Saudi part of the country. Maybe from the South South, the South East or the South West, but they want the next president to come from the South part of the country and not the Northern part of the country. And we know Obi Kubana is from the South. From what you can see, Niger Nigerian youths have designed a poster for Obi Kubana. In other words, they want Obi Kubana to become the next president of this country. Let me ask you a question. Will you vote for him if he decides to run? Though there's no political party attached to the uh, Post that yet. In other, in other words, Obi Kubana has not declared his interest or intentions of becoming the next president of this country. But if he decides to become the next president, will you vote for him? Well, don't forget to drop your comments on the comment section below. And also, we should also remember that there's this actor, Yu Educhi, the son of the living legend Pet Educhi, who has declared his interest to become the next president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Will you vote for him? Well, don't forget to drop your comments on the comment section below because people have been complaining regarding what is happening in the country. The APC government came and promised us change. Though we've seen, though we've seen change, but people are saying the changes are not in the right direction. That they, that they keep leading us to the wrong direction. But some other persons are saying that this is the best government we've ever had. Whatever your comments are, you are basically right. Don't forget to drop your comments on the comment section below. And still talking about Obi Kubana, I mean, the spending of money during his mother's prayer was legendary. Yeah, because for the past, I mean, decades, we've not seen anything like that. We've not seen anything like that on the internet. We don't know if that is the most expensive barrier in Nigeria. But the way people were spraying money, his friends, I mean, they were spraying money as if money was paper. <laughs> but we know money is very difficult, especially in times like this. After what we went through in 2020, the, the COVID-19, the economy, we are still trying to rise up. And we saw these guys spraying money as if it was nothing. Well, regarding that, Obi Kubana reached six months in prison after a lavish funeral party was organized for his mother. Kana, alongside Kanayo, who Kanayo were seen breaching the Central Bank of Nigeria rule during the party and it might land them in prison. Few days or do I say few weeks ago, the Central Bank of Nigeria dropped this message that if you are seen spraying money, that you'll be arrested. But these guys didn't just spray money, I mean, they sprayed bundles, bundles of money. And from what we just got from this news, Obi Kobana, Kanayo, oh, Kanayo. Kubana chief priest, all those people, actors, Zubi, Michael, all those people that were spraying money, they risked six months in prison because of the lavish way they were spraying money during Ubi Kubana's mother's funeral. Well, that is the news. We're still talking about this. The news I just read about Ubi Kubana facing that, possibly facing a six month jail term. People dropped in comments. Someone said, Nigeria government should face their real problem and leave people alone with their personal lifestyle. Nigeria government already have much important things to attend to. Wow. Other people say this country has a way of making me wonder if our leaders has the citizens in hearts. Other person said, ha ha ha, in this country, I'll be another country. You people should stop deceiving yourselves in this country. Because there are people that's supposed to be in prison in this country, yet they are working about freely. You people should start from those ones first. Other person said the Bullion Van Saga during the election have been thrown into those being. But you can breach the law when it comes to rights source. The law is only made for some tribe, and some tribe in the country are above the law. Well, another person said, What of those naira our politicians carry in Ghana must go? The naira, the naira being buried in pit toilet and even water tanks. How many of those politicians have you people jailed? Nonsense and ingredients. 
Nigeria, Nigerians are provoking. At that point, say useless talk and reasoning. May God punish anyone that is against Obi Kubana's affairs. Wow. At that point, say how would there is that when Abba Kari was there, life and direct. Well, we've heard it from other people. What are your own thoughts on that? I mean, you think the CBN should go ahead and arrest these guys because they because they were they were spraying money. What I thought everybody has something to say. Don't, don't forget to drop your comments on the comment section below. Well, let, let us move on to the United States of America. You know, Ken West was happily married to Kim Kardashian. They were married for about seven years, and after seven years, less than in less than a decade. Well, it's been falling well. In less than a decade, they called off their relationship. And Ken West was having this issue with Jay-Z. Immediately he got married to Kim. They were best of friends, Ken West and Jay-Z. They were writing songs for each other, they were dropping albums together, and immediately Ken West got married to Kim Kardashian. Their relationship had an issue. They went their separate ways. Everybody was concentrating on his business, on making good music. But we have this good news for you. Good, good news. Ken West and Jay-Z reunite for new Donda collaboration. West will be dropping an album very, very soon. The name of the, of the album is going to be Donda. And Jay-Z was featured in one of the tracks. That is a huge one. You know that was the back together. Ken West and Jay-Z. For me, I really want to listen to another hit album, Watch the Throne, Part 2, Ken West and Jay-Z. For those of you who are into the rap game, you should know Watch the Throne, Part 1. We want a part two of World the Throne between Kanye West and Jay-Z, two hip-hop moguls. So the throne is back together. Kanye West premiered his 10th studio album, Donda, at a listening event at, at Atlanta's Mercedes-Benz Stadium on Thursday night, following collaborations with Lil Baby, Lil Dog, Pusha T, Travis Scott, Roddy Rich, and Tamo. He played one last song that had the stadium shock. Jay-Z's voice echoed through the speakers for the final track, Donda. I am with you, baby. When I thought back road, he raps. Told him stop all that red cap. Told him stop all that red cap. We're going home. Cannot be with all of these scenes casting stones. This might be the return of the throne. Hoover and Yeezy, like Moses and Jesus. So, according to the lyrics I just read, if you listen to the lyrics very well, it's like Jay-Z is hyping up a potential war the throne sequel on Kanye West's new song, Donda. We can't wait. To listen to that album and we can't wait to listen to watch the throne sequel part two we really want to listen to these guys i mean they're like hip-hop moguls you can't name top best rappers in this world right now without naming jay-z and Kanye west it's like impossible fine we have Lil baby Lil wayne all the little 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 boys, but jay-z and Kanye west i mean they have their games they've been doing very well and also as i said Kanye west has been doing very well you can't name top 10 hottest rappers in the world right now that are still alive without calling these two people Kanye west was Kanye West was honored with Kanye West Day in Atlanta. Kanye West Day in Atlanta. Wow, wow, wow. Isn't that fabulous? I mean, he has a special day dedicated to him in Atlanta, in the United States of America. That's a huge one. Con congratulations to you, Kanye. Big ups. Big ups to you. I, I love reading news like this. It's like encouraging. Big ups to you, Kanye. Big ups to you, Kanye West. We're still in the rap game. We've talked about Kanye West and just let us move on to another rapper that is becoming very popular on social media. Leo Uzi Vest. Lil Uzi very recently went and got a diamond on, on his forehead. I mean, come on. Well, we got this news again about Lil Uzi Vert that he is in the process of buying his own planet. <laughs> oh God. Uh, are these guys confused or what? Is it because of the... Because, I don't understand, buying your own planet. We live there. Nobody can live on any other planet apart from it. So you just want to buy another planet. How much do you have? You are not the richest man in the world. The richest man in the world right now, Def Bezos has gone to space. Yeah, he's... Having a good time in space right now. But this guy, Lil Uzivet, you are a rapper, you want to buy a planet. According to a report, Lil Uzivet is in a world of his own. The exo tall live rapper is reportedly in the process of buying his own planet. Uzi's friend, Singer Grimms, took on Twitter to reveal that Uzi has filled paperwork to own WASP 127B, a gas giant exoplanet that is 1.4 times larger than Jupiter. According to Grimms, Uzi's purchase is nearly complete and would make him the first human to legally own a planet. Apparently, Adelaide Uzivet owns this planet, just a head of tweeted Grimms. Document documentation almost complete for Adelaide Uzivet to legally claim WASP WASP-127B. This is huge. First human to legally own a planet. Hmm. I mean, regarding this Lil Uzivet decision to buy a planet, people have been dropping it coming like, how much does he have to buy a planet? I mean, how much does he have? 
you can't just buy a planet for millions of or buy billions of dollars i think you need like quadrillion of dollars and nobody has that amount yet and according to report this planet is like four times larger than the size of jupiter and jupiter is larger than it and this guy wants to buy it what are thoughts on that anyway don't forget to drop your comments on the comment section below the big brother niger season six is by the corner it will be dropping any moment from now as in few hours not even this few hours from now well we got this message you know there's been this thing that's that's been happening regarding the house so then we'll go to the house and come out as enemies they won't be they'll be beefing each other you know there was this beef that's happened i think in season four yes between Messi and Thatcher in the house they had this serious beef that after the beef that led to Thatcher's uh, eviction or that led to Thatcher being evicted from the house someone dropped a message or a twist that small beef then no keep i love Thatcher and Messi two years strong after the beef they came back from the house and they are moving i mean they are doing well they've been doing very well but funny enough there's been this beef that was that has been going on between two housemates too lekun and erica you know they were the big brother housemate of season five they had this serious issue and since then they've been beefing each other but we have this good news they are back together they were seen having fun catching crews and enjoying the, themselves they are calm they are cool they are collected and they are friends big up to you lekun and erica very soon we'll give you updates on the next big brother niger housemates and we'll see who will become the next superstar who will become the next in line to lekun of big brother niger whether i like it or not that is the biggest show we have in this country they should have been giving us peace of mind as i'm talking to you now there are so many persons that have been saving money just to buy fuel to power their generator because we'll be having light issues in this country you know to power their generator and they've subscribed dstv or good tv i mean they've they've done complete subscription so that they'll be able to sit down and follow the big brother niger and as our job we'll be giving you updates on everything that's happening in the house big brother niger season six is here Thank you very much for watching your list entertainment. We hope you're entertained. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button, the bell, and also the like so as to stay updated with the time. Take care of yourself and have a lovely day.